Chris came from China. Chris is one lucky dog. Just days ago, he was on the back of a bike in China, headed for slaughter to become somebody's dinner. But he was rescued by rescuers in China. Is it like guerrilla warfare? They go running in and grab them and run out? And what, how does that yeah, work? We do, all, we do all kind of things. We have to fight with dog meat traders. Chris and some other dogs were put on a plane in China. They arrived at LAX Monday night and brought to Roos Kennels. A blessing, a ribbon cutting, and a welcome from Inglewood's Mayor James Bucks. Jill and Patty, co-founders of China Rescue Dogs, created Roots, Roots Kennels to be the nation's first, first, we like to be first here, and only <laughs> rescue-minded facility intended to support the healthy international import of both rescue and companion-owned dogs. There are a few other dog care facilities in the country that cater to importing these little guys, but not a nonprofit. Not until now, according to Jill Stewart. She says it's expensive to import a dog from another country. These are overseen by federal agencies, U.S. Customs and Border Protection, for instance. They have cameras on site to keep eyes on the imported dogs. With the new federal rules and regulations, animals needed to come into what's called an animal care facility. And so we, we said we were going to start this. They did, and because there are federal rules, certain things have to happen. I will be examining the dogs when they come from China, and I will be repeating the rabies vaccine. That's to prevent one of these critters from bringing rabies in. There are people who help with customs. They have warm spots in their hearts for dogs with passports. And so when you think about the idea that this could be somebody's dinner, which is even hard to say... Uh, yes, I think, yeah, it's, it's pretty sad. To Mayor Butts, dogs as food may be distasteful. What we are happy for is that we're able to bring these beautiful animals here to a place where they're now seen as partners and companions. And as for Chris, he's got one more flight in his future. He's heading to the East Coast to meet the family that's going to adopt him. In Inglewood, I'm Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News.